Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Isis Lorena and today I'm going to be sharing with you 20 facts about the English language that will surprise you and I want you to comment below and tell me which facts actually surprised you, which ones you knew already and if you know any other facts that you think might surprise other people then leave them on the comments below. I am an English language nerd. I absolutely love researching and learning more about the English language and English English is actually my second language. My first language is Portuguese. So when I started learning English many, many years ago, I just got obsessed with it and a dictionary used to be my favorite book to have by my side table. And now I still like researching the English language and I found these facts which I thought were fascinating. So hopefully some of you will find these facts interesting too. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And now let's get straight into the video. I'm going to start with a little fun fact about this video. I had actually compiled a list with 60 facts to share in this video, but I thought that was a little bit too much and a little bit too geeky. So I condensed it to 20 facts, but if you're still curious after watching this video and you want to know more about the English language, let me know and I will leave some of the facts that I didn't add into this video in the comments below. But I'm going to get started with the first fact that I want to share with you. And that is that the shortest sentence that you can create in the English language is I am. That is a full sentence containing a subject and a verb. If it wasn't for that, the shortest sentence would be go. But go is an elliptical sentence which leaves something out and that something is the pronoun you. And if you had to say you go, you go is a longer sentence than I am. And that's why I am is the shortest sentence that you can make in the English language. Have you heard the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog? Do you know what's special about that phrase? Is the fact that it uses every single letter of the alphabet. And that is known as a pangram. That sentence is used a lot to test new fonts and new keyboards because you will hit every single key at least once. I'd love to know more pangrams in the English language. So if you know any more, comment below. Do you know what are ghost words? Ghost words are words that appear or have appeared in the dictionary, but have no meaning whatsoever. They are words that were placed in the dictionary by mistake. And an example of that is the word Dored. That word appeared in the dictionary for eight years in the mid 20th century and it doesn't mean anything. It was actually a mistake and it was meant to be written capital D or lowercase d. And then there was an explanation after that. It was supposed to be adding a, a definition of density for the letter D and it became dored and dored became synonym with density. So that word doesn't exist, it doesn't mean density, and it was corrected eventually and removed from the dictionary. But that is called a ghost word. English is the language of the skies. All pilots must identify themselves and speak in English when they're talking to air control, regardless of their country of origin. Did you know that girl used to be gender neutral? It simply meant young person and it described both a girl and a boy. It's all a bit of a mystery and before the 1300s, the origins of the word girl are unknown. By the 1400s, we were already starting to see a bit of a gender separation and the use of the word girl to mean what it means now. And by the mid 1500s, there was a distinct separation between boy and girl. Did you know that a new word is added to the dictionary every two hours? Isn't it crazy to think that at the end of a 24 hour period, you could have 12 new words in the dictionary? And did you also know that the original name for butterfly was Flutterby? I actually prefer Flutterby. I think it's so much cuter. I wish they had called butterfly Flutterby. The most commonly used letter in the English language is the letter E. It accounts for 11% of the entire English language and the least used letter is the letter Q. Now this fact totally surprised me. Let me know if it surprises you too. The USA doesn't have an official language. 
That's right, there is nothing in the Constitution, there are no federal laws that say that English is the official language of the USA. It's the most commonly spoken language in the USA, but it's not the official language. There is no official language in the USA. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the UK has English and Welsh as legal official languages and other languages such as Scottish, um, Irish and other dialects are protected languages. But I am not 100% on that. That's just the superficial research that I did on the topic whilst I was researching about the USA. I thought, why not look up the UK? So if you know more about this subject, comment below. Good time is a very special sentence in the English language. Do you know why? because good is the most commonly used adjective and time is the most commonly used noun in English. The words month, orange, silver and purple don't rhyme with any other words. Isn't it funny that three of them are colours? Let me know if you know any other words that don't rhyme with any words in the English language. Do you know what are contronyms? Contronyms are words that have contradictory meaning depending on the context. They're not just words that mean slightly different things, they mean exactly the opposite. An example of it is the word bolt, which depending on the context can mean to secure something or to flee. The word custom can mean common practice or special treatment. Fine can mean something excellent or something acceptable. And left can describe something or someone that remained or something or someone that departed. Isn't that interesting? I was so fascinated by this and I even looked to see if there are any contronyms in Portuguese, which is my native language, and I couldn't find anything online. Maybe there are, but I couldn't find anything. Let me know if there are contronyms in your native language. Now, I'm sure some of you will know what a couch potato is, someone who sits on the sofa watching TV a lot, but do you know what a mouse potato is? Someone who works on their computer a lot. It's not a very imaginative thing, but I thought it was interesting. The longest word in the English language that can be spelled without repeating any letters is uncopyrightable. Queuing is the only word that has five consecutive vowels. And the word Q, which has five letters in it, sounds the same if you remove all letters apart from the first one. So basically all you needed was the letter Q. And I don't know why I make it so hard adding all the U's and the E's. It's just a spelling disaster. <laughs> Do you know that very distinctive smell after it rains? There is a name for it in the English language and the name is petrichor. I absolutely love that smell. It makes me feel really cozy when I'm indoors, obviously not when I'm outdoors. But yeah, it's such a distinctive smell and I can't believe that there is actually a word to describe that smell. I love that petrichor smell just before a thunderstorm, especially when it's on a Sunday. I don't know why, but I just love it. Did you know that pronunciation is the most mispronounced word in the English language? And I can see why you'd make the mistake and think it's pronunciation, but it's not, it's pronunciation. Did you know that there are nine different ways to pronounce O-U-G-H? I'm gonna read a sentence to you that contains all the different ways to pronounce it. A rough, coated, dough-faced, thoughtful plowman strode through the streets of Scarborough after falling in a slough he coughed and hiccuped. And the, the one that was the most interesting to me was the way that hiccuped was spelled. I only knew the spelling with the P, but not with the O-U-G-H. So that was really interesting. I thought it was a completely new word, but it's not, it's the past tense of hiccup. So yeah, you can search for all these words in the Cambridge Dictionary to listen to the pronunciation of each one of them if you're interested. Did you know that if you wrote out all the numbers, you would not use the letter A until you got to 1000? Isn't that crazy? And you wouldn't use the letter B until you got to 1 billion. So you could keep writing all the way to 1 billion and not use the letter B once. That is just mind blowing. And lastly, did you know that the day after tomorrow is called Overmorrow? 
Who knew? I had absolutely no idea. It's not a very commonly used word, but it's definitely in the dictionary. So these were my 20 facts about the English language that I thought you might find interesting. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you know any more interesting facts about English language. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye.